Look at that! There's a big fish. Oh my God! Woo. It's never been a secret that Ontario is my favorite Canadian province to fish. I mean, looking down over its expansive wilderness, all you see are thousands and thousands of prime bodies of water that are all chock full of game fish. My only problem with Ontario is the fact that there are so many fantastic new lakes to explore that sometimes it's tough to get back to the gems of the past. Hey, I'm like a kid in a candy store every time I plan a trip there. But here, along with good friend Jerry James, I'm returning to a diamond of a walleye lake for the first time since the early 1990s, Dogtooth Lake and Dogtooth Lake Resort by the town of Kenora in northwestern Ontario. A few pictures from the past say so much about my early years fishing here with lodge owner Wayne Jones and other guests for trophy walleyes. And as the three of us set out on the first morning, I keep thinking back to the amazing propensity Dogtooth and Kilvert, which are connected by a small stream, always had for kicking out some of the biggest, hardest fighting eyes I'd found anywhere. Combined, these two clear water Precambrian shield lakes are a huge system that offers endless shoreline, shallow and deep water rocky structures in plenty, an amazing forage base, and lots of deep water over 120 feet. That kind of depth is a huge factor in sustaining big fish populations, which is why I've spent so much time here in the past. But how does Dogtooth compare now to the glory days of old? Well, why don't we just take a look and find out together, shall we? Even if we're a little deeper, it doesn't matter. It was going to head straight across to that island over there. We've had Dogtooth Resort for many years. The kids grew up here and, of course, many other families. There we are. Oh, and you got them. No, I got a fish from way up here, and it's a good one. Approximately about 28 years we've been running Dogtooth Resort. Hit it good, too. And uh, seen the, the lake and the resort itself develop over the years. Nice fish. Especially the fishing. How you like that? First fish of the day, huh? Nice We're up at Dogtooth Lake in Ontario, um, west of Kenora, or east of Kenora, actually. What do we got here? Twenty-six. Oh, wait a sec. Twenty-seven. That's almost twenty-seven. Nice fish. Nice fish for a starter fish. The fishing has changed uh, quite a bit over the years. I got one. Oh, not bad. A little bit of weight to him. When we first took over the resort, it was uh, it always had large walleyes in this lake. Yeah, they're sitting right on this shelf here. They're coming up and feeding. Not much of a shelf though. But, but the numbers of smaller fish seem to be hurting a little bit for guys that want to catch a bunch of eaters. Well, a nice one, a little smaller than big, but uh, looks still like a 24 or so. Beautiful fish. So they put, brought in rules, uh, uh, the ministry, and the rule was uh, nothing, nothing between 19.7 inches and 25 and a half inches. I'm in the game, there's one which helped the fishing immensely. All those are the best spawners, and it really produced way more fish in the lake over the years. Get them up. There you go. Oh, another nice, a nice, that one looks like, that's got shoulders on that one. That looks like it's a good 26, 27 again. Wow. And it was also single hook barbless. Well, if there's that size, there's, there's a, you know, the 12 pounders in there. Since then, it, the rules have been changed back because the lake is, is, is doing quite well. Jerry, that's a really good fish. And uh, the rule now is one over 18.1 inches and the rest under. Oh, yeah. Fighting booger. Look at that one. That's it's not, it's, it's healthy, and, and, but it's not near as big as I thought. Uh, over the years, I've seen as these uh, a slot size fish developed and got bigger and bigger. We had more numbers of 27s, then more numbers of 28s, 29s, 30s, more numbers of everything in the lake. Hey, you like this little toad? Nice. Look at it. Look at look at the size. The girth and the yeah. that's what I mean. And this way too. A perfectly healthy specimen. 
and now it's quite easy to go out and catch some really good fish. Good job, babe. So oh, I'd say over the years, uh, the fishing has improved immensely. We see way more bigger fish and way more little fish. Nice one, another nice one. Very few walleye lakes you can go to that have ever put out 15 pound fish. And this lake has put out 19 pound fish. 16s, 17s, 18s. All we gotta do is find one to prove it to you. Continuing now at Ontario's Dogtooth Lake Resort, jig fishing for mid-June trophy walleyes, we're getting a good grip on the walleye pattern in hand. We're catching one here, two there. We're just moving, 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 moving. These are time-tested deep water big fish structures, and all I'm doing is slowly moving along the brake line on key spots using H2O precision jigs by custom jigs and spins. We're just hooking it to a nice sized minnow and that's it. Now it's time to hopefully cash in on a few of those hog walleyes. Reel them in a bit so I can get them. <laughs> oh, this is old clay face maybe. Oh, you got one too, nice. I got a good one. Thank you. You got a DJ. Yeah, you got a DJ. They're strong fish here. Even the smaller ones are so strong. Eating all them ciscos and whitefish. Yeah. Well, you got something there. Oh, right? no, he's got a good fish. Oh, there's a nice walleye. Good one. No, just pull, pull, hold your rod away out there. There we go. Nice fish. So if, if you've never been to Dogtooth Resort before and you want to come for the first time. It's about 25 inches of a fat fish. Yep. You know, you fish and fish and then you find them and that's all it takes. Nice fish. Most cases, people that come here the first year, definitely a lot of people have had their biggest fish ever the first year. Oh, yeah. Got some weight to them? It's a nice fish. It is a walleye. I can feel it. Oh, four or five pounds. Uh, some people have found it a little tougher because it's a little different kind of fishing. Yeah, really nice. Nothing wrong with that one. Because these fish are bigger, they're well fed, so in a lot of cases you have to kind of finesse these fish. They're all kind of chunkers, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Oh. Haven't caught any. I don't think that I've caught a fish smaller than four pounds. Oh, these big ones are up. It's hard to find the small ones. Some cases they'll come up and just bang it, no problem. But a lot of the bigger fish sometimes just pick it up, and you got to have that feeling for for that little pickup to know that they're there, so you can catch them. Nice to have a. A uh, good sonar unit back there and one up here at the same time. And the thing that's nice, if we're out in, in, on a spot and you mark the spot with the garments here, you just hit the button mark. It marks it on both sonar units at oh, the same time. Nice. So. Yeah. Ooh, here looks like a fish on the side of a rock. I like to say on average, I mean, you should be able to catch a, a few fish enough to eat. It's, it's not a giant fish. Coming down the edge of them. A nice little fat one. And certainly see some bigger fish. Whether it'll be the big one, I don't know. Uh. Definitely you're gonna see some fish between 25 and 28 inches. I mean, that's, uh, I think that's our kind of average on this lake. It was off this side that I marked that really yeah. big fish, the biggest fish we've marked today. Although, you know, at certain times of the year, it's easier to catch smaller, uh, smaller fish, which would be after the big fish have left the shallows. So in June, it's sometimes a little tougher to catch smaller fish. Well, there's nice, another nice one. But most of the guys are up here are for those trophy fish anyway. Yeah, he's got a little bit of weight. I don't know how big yet, but I think around the 27 or so. Up. And then it changes when the bigger fish move down a bit. The little fish seem to come up, and for the rest of the year, we get uh, pretty much all the eaters you want and then you hunt for the big fish off the reefs and whatever and we still see plenty of uh, good sized walleyes. I like it when he steers you. No, no, stay on this side. Oh yeah, there he is, he's big. He's a good size anyway. Nothing huge, super huge, but not that size. Oh, that's nice fish. oh yeah. That's nice fish. Yeah, decent, nice fat one. Boy, they fight a lot harder than you think. You think they're a lot bigger because they fight so hard. <laughs> they're so strong. That's know. a nice walleye, though. Yeah, That's oh, yeah, he's got shoulders on it. He's a nice little fatty. He's probably... Nice job. I thought he was closer to 27, but he's probably around the 24, 25-inch range, eh? 